Hello, welcome to the Fall 2020 Triangle Jewish Choral Concert. My name is Lorena Guillén and I am the conductor of the Triangle Jewish Choral. Nothing can stop our love for choral singing. That's why the singers of the Triangle Jewish Choral have overcome technical challenges and personal obstacles to come together once more and offer you today a virtual joyful concert. Yes, as you just heard, joyful, not joyful. Joyful, after the typical yoy vocable, used to express joy in many Hasidic melodies. Now, allow me to read the message from our Triangle Jewish Chorale president, Marie Hammond. Marie says, Greetings to all and welcome to the 13th Rashi Barov Memorial Concert in the 26th year of the Triangle Jewish Chorale and our first ever virtual performance. Regrettably, I'm not able to sing with the group this semester due to my husband's illness, but Sam and I will be watching the concert with you in eager anticipation. Be prepared for a fun and enjoyable experience. Marie and Sam, we miss you a lot. Sam, we hope these songs we perform today will serve you as a soul medicine that accompanies you during your recovery. Now, let me tell you, for the past 10 years, I have opened the Triangle Jewish Choral Concerts by telling the audience how much pleasure I feel when I drive weekly a whole hour from Greensboro to Durham to rehearse with this wonderful group of singers. Now I cannot describe how much excitement I experienced in anticipation to each of our weekly Tuesday meetings on Zoom. This fall 2020, the choral singers particularly amazed me with their energetic and open attitude to this new virtual modality. We did a lot of things in our meetings played games of music improvisation, wrote new lyrics for some of our old songs, practiced the parts of the pieces you will hear now, learned how to video record ourselves and share those videos. But most importantly, we spent two glorious hours talking, laughing, checking we were still safe and holding in. Amidst all this social distance that we needed to keep, to being safe. We all hope that this will encourage other singers to join us for our Spring 2021. Just go to our website and fi find our contact information. Finally, I could like to specially thank Liwen Sirvent, who has been our audio and video editor. She patiently assisted me in realizing my artistic vision and guided every singer of the chorale to get the videos that we today proudly present to you. Enjoy our virtual joyful concert. Somewhere Over the Rainbow, composed by Hyman Arlick, with lyrics by Isidore Hochberg. What's that you say? You never heard of them? Well, perhaps you have if I tell you their Americanized names, Harold Arlen and E.Y. Yip Harburg. Written in 1939 for The Wizard of Oz, it won an Academy Award for the best original song. And over the years, other honors came its way, such as, for one instance, it's being rated number one on songs of the 20th century list by the National Endowment for the Arts. Of course, it became Judy Garland's signature song for 30 years. Now, an introductory verse was not included in the movie, and it's not included in the arrangement we're singing for you today by Molly Imes. Nonetheless, its first line, its first few words of its first line, seem to be relevant today and to resonate with us. When all the world is a hopeless jumble. In times like these, we need a song like Somewhere Over the Rainbow. 
because like Leonard Bernstein's Somewhere, it gives us hope and inspiration for a better life, a happier day, somewhere over the rainbow. By mere bis de chain, to me you are beautiful. Composed by Sholem Secunda, a pillar of the American Yiddish theater, with lyrics by Jacob Jacobs, it was written in 1932 for the Yiddish musical whose English title was I Would If I Could. Now, the show lasted only one season, but the song was a different matter. According to one theater historian, it is the world's best known and longest reigning Yiddish theater song of all time. Now, how did that happen? Well, in 1937, Sammy Kahn and Saul Chaplin wrote English lyrics for the Andrews Sisters, three gals from Minnesota. And within 30 days of the rec record's release, the record sold a quarter of a million and about 200,000 copies of the sheet music were purchased. As you might imagine, the Yiddish title caused some confusion among the general public. According to Life magazine, customers asked for the record, buy a beer, Mr. Shane, or my mere bits of shame. Well, the Triangle Jewish Chorale has also, also taken some liberties, but not with the title. The arrangement we sing by Joshua Jacobson and Art Bailey retained the original Yiddish lyrics for the introductory verse, and we found them uncomfortable to sing 
because they contain some unfortunate ethnic stereotyping of both Jews and non-Jews. So we decided that we would, if we could, come up with our own lyrics with the introduction. We could and we did, and we think that they retained the spirit of the original lyrics. So we invite you now to sit back and enjoy with us by mere bis to shame. To me, you are beautiful. Means you're grand. 
Ale Brother, what in English means All Brothers. This song was first published in the United States in 1920s as a folk song by the Yiddish writer and folklorist A. Litvin in the Yiddish newspaper The Zeit, which means The Times. The original lyrics adapted a poem by Maurice Winchevsky entitled Unity, but the triangle Jewish choral singers present here their own new pandemic version. As A. Litvin originally noted in his publication, this was the most popular folk song that was sung in the old country, mostly at the bandist parties. Each time it was sung, something was added by each singer extemporaneously. The Bond was an Eastern European popular socialist movement that supported non-religious, humanistic, Yiddish language culture in the framework of a progressive environment. In the same spirit of that old tradition of adding things, the Triangle Jewish Choral Singers have created new lyrics to convey the various experiences and hopes we all share during the pandemic we are living in. We hope you enjoy our new version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
As our last selection for this concert, we present you Light One Candle, with music and lyrics by Peter Yarov. Peter Yarov was a member of the famous American folk group, Peter, Paul and Mary, formed in the 1960s during the American folk revival. What seems to be a Hanukkah song, according to its opening lines, verse after verse becomes clearly an intense and urgent call for peace and unity. Those first lines mention the fight of the Maccabees to liberate themselves from the Greek Empire, but in reality, Peter Yarov conceived this song as a pacifist response to the 1982 Lebanon War. Light One Candle also delivers a message that somehow resonates close to many aspects of our current moment in history. A call for unity in the lines that say, Light one candle for all we believe in. Let anger not tear us apart. Light one candle to bind us together with peace as the song in our heart. Other lines present us with a question that our society should attempt to answer in order to heal after so many deaths caused by violent acts and disease. It says, what's the commitment for those who have died? And we cry, they've not died in vain. Please join us and sing along with us from home. Let's answer together by singing don't let the light go out, let it shine through our love and our tears. song and all. 
is the memory that's valued so highly that we keep it alive in that flame. What's a commitment to those who have died? And we cry out, they've not died in vain. We have gone this far, always believing that justice would somehow